It's at a local repair shop with thousands of dollars worth of parts and labor, but what really happened under that hood? Our Taking Action reporter Jackie Calloway uncovered questionable work, and tonight she shows you how to protect yourself from a bad mechanic. This Nissan belongs to David Bradford, who cannot live without a dependable ride to the hospital three times a week. I'm more disabled without my truck than I am with my truck. The Pathfinder provides David's only means of transportation to get to kidney dialysis. It wouldn't shift gears. When it broke down, this Army retiree paid Jay Acosta Auto Repair in Tampa more than three grand to rebuild the transmission and replace the radiator. David says the truck died on the road minutes after he left the shop. We questioned the repairs after finding state records detailing half a dozen other repair-related complaints against Jay Acosta since 2012. Well, the transmission hasn't been rebuilt and the radiator hasn't been replaced. I asked Brazil Tire's top technician Chris Wallen to examine the Nissan. He pointed to undisturbed rust on transmission bolts and no evidence that any other parts connected to it or the radiator had been removed. I'd say, yeah, the work wasn't done. I sold my van to get the money to fix this. Marcos Toledo says he paid Jay Acosta over $1,200 to replace the engine in his 1994 Cadillac last June. It has not run since. I asked state investigator Frank Pitts with the Florida Department of Ag and Consumer Services to examine Marcus's car. None of the parts that are essential to be removed have been touched. We reached out to Jennifer Acosta in April. She agreed to provide proof that she paid for Marcus's engine and David's transmission and radiator. But she stopped answering our calls. State regulators responded to our findings and opened an investigation in May. Now it appears Jay Acosta has closed up shop. She's failed to respond to state investigators who now say the investigation could lead to criminal charges. Nobody deserves to be treated like this. So here's how to protect yourself from questionable mechanics. The Department of Ag on its website sports a link that allows you to punch in the name of the auto repair shop. And you can make sure they're registered to do business in Florida and look up their complaint record. I've posted a link on my Facebook page. Go to Action News Jackie or email me, Jackie at ABCActionNews.com. I'm Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.